Hi, what's your name? Megan Sprecker. And, and Megan, where are you from? I'm from Kansas City, Kansas. What causes a rainbow? Um, the... Um, you look like you're in pain. I know. <laughs> you I'm embarrassed that I don't know these because I always make fun of people that don't know really, these. Really, really. So now, oh now, now yeah. it's coming around. This is um, called karma. So, you, so you'd watch yeah. a show and make fun of these yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a name of a planet. The sun. <laughs> the sun's a planet. It's a planet we don't go to. The star. No, it's a star. <laughs> I still sort of say it's a plan. I bet you other people believe are uh, on my side. Two <laughs> people. But you're saying I bet you it's a planet. We know it's not a it planet, says who? right? It says who? Okay. A prime number is in the title of which movie? Scary Movie 4, Ocean's 11, Police Academy 6, City Under Siege. Mob, please answer now. What are you thinking? Oh gosh, prime number. I feel like a prime, oh my God. This is like second grade and I can't remember. Um, prime number six and four is something that can be multiplied twice, I think, like two times two is, is four. Three plus three is six, but nothing doubled is 11. Um, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the help. <laughs> yeah, on that note. All right. You can ask the mob, or you can trust the mob. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to ask the mob. All right, so asking the mob, we're gonna show you two people up there chosen at random. Yeah. One of them's gonna have the right answer, one of them's gonna have the wrong answer, and you're gonna get to talk to both of them, okay? Okay. Let's see who they are. All right, hello, number 34. How are you? Great. And uh, which of these did you choose? B. And why did you do that, sir? Going back, I remember a series just kind of came into my head, and I, I think that's correct. Got it. Thank you for your answer. And I have another person lit up. Uh, number 60, which of these did you choose, sir? I chose A. Why is that? Well, um, the lowest prime number being two. Come on, Blondie. Whoa. Whoa. It's the battle of the sexes, not the sex is. All right. Now, here's some good news for you. We know for a fact that it's not C, Police Academy 6, Sydney Under Siege. That is ruled out. What would you like to do? Still, it's, I don't know, it's like I'm still confused because four and six seem the same to me. People are screaming right now. No, no, no one's really doing anything. But on the inside, they are. I, I mean, I really feel like a, you know what, maybe I should go with A. Uh, but God, I'd hate to take advice from you know, him. Um, <laughs> gosh, a, a prime number. Okay, yeah, A. Yeah, A. Oh my gosh. The question is a prime number is in the title of which movie and you guessed and went with Scary Movie 4. Oh. The correct answer is. Oh, I feel ill. Oh my God. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Where are you from? Minnesota, Minneapolis. Perfect. What's the largest organ on the human body? It must be the leg. No, no, no. Who was the first man on the moon? John Glenn. Armstrong walked on the moon, but I think it was a Russian, I'm not sure. Well, I gotta tell you, some people don't believe that happened. They believe that was uh, reincarnated in, in Arizona somewhere. What is a mosque? Don't have any idea. You wanna guess? An animal. How many kidneys does a person have? One. Can you name a country on this map? How many does Africa? Nope. Russia? Nope, that's China. Anything over here? Uh, all right, so basically Europe. China. Where's Europe? Don't know. Can you name a country on this map? Asia or Africa? That's a continent. Oh. Okay. Can you name a country on this map? Mexico. Uh it's right down here. Nope, that's no. India. What's this? That would be Asia. No, that's Africa. How about this? Here? <laughs> Anything over here? What about this continent? 
I have no idea. good at math. I was always promised no math. I, there will be no math on this show. Um, so Maybe by the end you'll be good at it. I know. <laughs> and then, is math related to science? Math is the language of the universe. Numbers. If you want to go to China and speak to Chinese people, you learn Mandarin? or Yeah. Yeah, okay. Go to Spain, you learn Spanish. Yeah. You want to go to the universe, you learn math. It's that simple. I mean, it's that straightforward. I know that people have done this before on your show, but I just want to go and do it once. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stephanie, where are you from? Upstate New York. Oh, upstate New York. The largest organ on the human body is... Yours or mine? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's from the fourth grade. I know. I, don't, I think this is in the sixth grade. Oh, what is it? Oh, you think this is this more is sixth, sixth grade, grade question? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Carol, where are you from? Maryland. Maryland. <laughs> Perfect. And what do you do? I'm a nurse. <laughs> what is the largest organ in the human body? The heart. Uh, no, that's the muscle. No. Largest organ. No, you're a nurse. The um, colon. Uh, no. Colon? Yeah. That, that would be very painful if that was yeah. the most. Three fourths of the Earth's surface is. Atmosphere. No, no. Three fourths of the Earth's surface is. Ground. <laughs> no, not ground. So if it's not ground, it's not atmosphere. It has to be. Dirt. No, not dirt. Cement. No, cement. <laughs> Budapest is the capital of what European country? Budapest is the capital of what European country Nathan has already locked in? This might be a stupid question. I'm guessing it's probably okay. going to be. Like, I thought Europe was a country. Let's see. Budapest. Budapest? I never even heard of that. Is All right, here's your, here's your options. I mean, you could drop out with $10,000. Like, you got... I know they speak French there, don't they? Like, I want to say, is France a country? I don't know what I'm doing. You know what, let's, let's, talk, like... let's talk about your options. Okay. Kel. Yes. Focus. I am. Like, I'm listening to what you're saying, but I only hear what I want to. That's just called being a woman. Oh. Uh. Let's talk about this. I really want you to get to 25000 because no matter what happens after that, you're walking yeah. out of here with 25000 It's all about the charity, so it is. i got to think what's best for them. Let's see. I am just going to copy. Copy. Come on, Nathan. If you had had to guess, if you had had to guess, do you have a guess? I don't think France is a country, but I would have said that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say France. I don't okay. know. France is a country. I will tell you it that. Is. If you had said France, you would have gone home with nothing. That Woo! is not the right answer. <sighs> the right answer is Hungary. Is what? Hungary. Hungary? Like I'm hungry. That's a country? <laughs> I've heard of turkey, but <laughs> hungry, never heard of it. Can you name a book? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't read books. <laughs> but um, what's it called? Um, Can you name a book? Uh, probably Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, maybe? <laughs> um, I haven't read a book for like 12 years. <laughs> what is the currency used in the United Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> What's the currency in the United Kingdom? <laughs> what is it? In the United Kingdom, I don't know. In the darkness of the night, a flicker starts to glow. A beacon in the shadows, a light that starts to flow. Illuminating pathways where once there was despair In the depths of obscurity, hope begins to flare Like a flame in the wind, I ignite from within Casting rays of brilliance, banishing the din With each step I take, I brighten up the way 
in the realm of shadows I become the day I'm the light in the darkness The spark in the night Guiding lost souls towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me Dreams reside In the labyrinth of life Where shadows dance and play I'm the ray of sunshine Turning night into day With every glimmer I cast I unveil the unseen In the tapestry of existence I'm the golden sheen From the darkest corners To the highest peak I'm the radiant glow That even shadows seek With every flicker Every beam I emit I dispel the darkness I never submit I'm the light in the darkness The spark in the night Guiding lost souls Towards the morning light Through the tunnels of uncertainty I'll be the guide For I am the bearer of hope in me Dreams reside In the symphony of life I'm the crescendo's rise In the canvas of the universe I paint the skies So let the darkness tremble Let the shadows flee For in the heart of radiance I'll always be I'm the light in the darkness The spark in the night Guiding lost souls Towards the morning light Nice. Possibly American money. Queen Elizabeth money. <laughs> That's all I know. Name a country that begins with you. A country? Yeah. <laughs> um. What about this one? What? The United States of America. <gasps> Denny's restaurants offer a signature breakfast dish named after what sports term? Slam dunk? Touchdown? Knockout? Grand slam? A slam dunk, final answer. Oh, I meant grand slam. B. Sorry, you said that. Oh, I'm so sorry, it was grand slam. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. All right, sweetheart. Well, here's your check for $1,000. We'll be back with our next contestant.